Hello, and welcome back to Monster Hunter Generations Ultimate. Since last time I played, sort of, I've decided to give up on the advanced quest. I spent like 12 minutes trying to do it, and then I just kind of stopped recording and gave up because I was in a bad mood. Because it's just not doable right now, I think. And by doable, I mean fun in the slightest. Because I unlocked the Hayabusa quest by finishing the villager requests at Neko Means Cat. I'm like, okay, they're high rank. I'll check the numbers and stuff. Devil Joe has 6,000 HP. Tigrex has 3,000. Nargakuka has 3,000. And I still have to kill them within 50 minutes. I think most... For example, a Tigrex, a solo Tigrex or Tigrex hunt in Village Six Star has 2,900 to 3,200 HP. 1.0 defense, so like normal defense, I guess. The out of the frying pan Tigrex has 3,800 HP. It does have 0.85 defense, but it has 4.8x attack compared to 1.16 of the normal six star. It hits, I think it basically means that it hits four times as hard. It takes maybe 15% more damage. I don't know how defense calculates. And it has 600 more HP. And that's one monster of three. Whereas the normal six star Tigrex is solo. So despite being three monsters, each of them has the HP that is equal to or greater than solo monsters because they're high rank. And they hit four times as hard, I think is effectively what it means. And I made an attempt on this one. I just, there was no way I was killing the Devil Joe fast enough. Because it it's a very long monster. And when long monsters try to, when I try to hit a long monster, it rotates. And I just miss a lot. And Might, Might is right, looks awful. But here, Blangonga just went poorly. I got hit by the really slow attack because I rolled into it instead of away from it. Instead of rolled into it, I jumped up and got hit. And it did 99% of my HP. Which was fine until I tried to run away. But it was right at the start of the hunt. So I couldn't activate the walls. It dug underground. I couldn't heal in time. It did half my health in one attack. Which those numbers are fine. I just really, I was curious as to why these exist, but apparently it's because of For You that these advanced quests that are clearly high rank quests exist. Because the caravan in For You didn't have high rank, so they put it in low rank village. Anyway, I'm not doing those anymore because they're not very fun. Because it's just slow. It's slower than hub quests. Like it's slower than low rank hub quests so far. Actually I could probably check that. Yeah like a hub Tigrex. A three star hub Tigrex. Only has 3500 to 4100 HP. It has barely more HP on a hub quest. Like hub quests just don't have inflated HP values by comparison. But again, it's a high rank monster is why it behaves that way. I'm thinking I didn't do much of this because I just really wasn't up for it. I think my plan will be I won't be doing these quests during the week I'll do it on the weekend try to clear them out then and as long as I focus on that over a weekend I should be able to finish the two star in like 
a couple days. Oops. So I am going to start the high rank. Because if I start the high rank, I can start working towards being able to actually do those advanced quests. Because honestly, I don't want to leave them sitting there. I don't know what I should do though. Oh yeah, Kachawacha and Celtus. Okay. Sorry. These are black texts. These are blue texts. Interesting. I'll try to catch a watcha and Celtus. Catch a watcha is based on a. Or the claw finger. Is based on a creepy lemur. I believe. I can't remember the name. I saw it. I searched the name a while ago. But today is starting on a bad foot. A step. I've not gone there. It's probably Arctic? No, ancient. Ancient. It's not Arctic. Because it is the for you. The first for you location? I'm calling it a monkey. I I. Eye eyes are lemurs. Are, are lemurs technically monkeys? They're primates. Evolved independently from monkeys, which means that it's, it. I mean, in their world, it can be a monkey, but given that I, I'm assuming it's based on eye eyes, it's not a monkey. I love these high rank quests not giving me items. It's good to know that they just don't give you anything. But yeah, the advanced quests, I, I really want to do them with low rank gear, but... I really, really don't think it would be even slightly fun. And like, challenges are interesting. But at least to me, it's more a case of HP inflation. Like, if they one-shot me, but they only had 1,500 health, I would go for that. Like, I would try that. But they have 3,000. It's just too much HP. It gets way more health than is fun to me. Maybe it, that could be fun. If I get a high rank weapon, oops, I wanted to go into nine. Where is nine? Oh, it's down there. If I can get like a appropriate high rank weapon, I don't know if weapons scale enough that it would be viable. But if I can get a weapon that where, that was weird. Effectively, I'm doing Two or three times, two and a, two to two and a half times my current damage. So this weapon leaves me with 146 attack, but I think it's like 110 or 120 raw. So if I can get to like, I don't know, 230, 240 raw, which might not be realistic in high rank, that might be on the border of what you achieve in G rank instead, which I could check probably. Yeah, that might be a G rank level of attack. They know like 300 and something is like the highest. Maybe like 340, 380. It's just, it's, it's too much HP for it to be fun. Like, the damage, well, it's 
too much HP and damage. One or the other, I think, would be doable. But also, it, I think even if they didn't do a lot of damage, it wouldn't be very fun to have to get through 12,000, 15,000 HP worth. Okay, the why are there delayed supplies? Is there some, like quest effect where eventually they will stop being delayed like is it the first time I go to a place supply delivery is delayed because they don't know where I'm going but I need to check attack values on high rank weapons Because it just doesn't seem... <sighs> it obviously moved somewhere. It could have started at 8 and moved to 4. It could have started at 3 and moved to 2. I'm going back to the start because there's supplies. But I don't understand the supply system either. I really want to get the um, advanced quest done, but again, HP. Because looking at a hub six star quest, that's not a good example. That's a sever a Tigrex, hunt a Tigrex. With three 35, 35, 35, and 30% intruders, which is a spoiler, the specifics of the intruders, but a six star hunt, if you include one of the intruders and the main monster, the six star hub hunt has a total HP of at most 12,000. This is rounding up and everything. 12,000 HP for a hub six star. Hub, not village. And I'm pretty sure hub six star is high rank because it's dropping scale pluses. Catch a watcha. Like the fingers are definitely II inspired. It's gonna have confusion. No, it's not gonna have confusion because I think Malfestio is the only monster that has confusion. It's gonna have some sort of status effect. It's gonna have poison as one guess. Oh, that attack, um. That mount animation is the same as Blungongo's. Is I I the same skeleton? I I, that's the real creature, not the fake monster. Is Ketchawacha a the same skeleton as I, I would say Rajang and Blanganga? Blangongo? I like that, that's cool. The ears forming like a weird helmet with eyes. The cool monster. Get down from there. Thank you. So far, it's kind of an obnoxious monster to hunt, though, because it's moving around a lot. Which is my least favorite trait of monsters, when they just move. Obviously, moving is part of it. But, like... I guess I'd have to wait till it relaxes, because I can't do anything until then. Because it looks like it's getting tired. So my assumption is it might be a monster that's that's not what I pressed. It might be a monster that's super energetic but wears itself down quickly. Low stamina, high speed. Yeah, like 
I can get direct hit by that and it does nothing. It's tedious. I like the monster design though, it's cool looking. But it's... I, I really want to do... When I get to a load screen after the quest, or when I'm waiting for the quest to finish... Oh, a great Macau. When I'm waiting for the quest to properly finish, I'm going to check, or try to check, like, average, upper high rank, um, weapon stats. Whatever. Move. Because upper high rank weapon stats, if they're like 240, it will be helpful. But if they're only like 200, then I will definitely need actual high rank armor. Because it's a balance, like... I'm fine being one shot if the monsters also die quickly. But if this is just tedious, I should be just patient, but is it trying to fly? It jumped up and then glided weird. I like the monster, it's cool. Yeah, like... Get out of here, Great Macau, you're a non-threat. But yeah, like... Monsters that take... Probably 20 minutes to kill, even if I was taking no damage. Well, 15 minutes to 20 minutes to kill, even if I was taking no damage. Just aren't... Fun. And while a lot of the quests in this game have not been particularly fun, they weren't cases where I could theoretically kill four out of five monsters and then get one shot by the last and have to start over. They were just, it takes 20 minutes to gather 20 mountain herbs. I didn't expect the, like, I didn't expect hub, uh, high rank quests, like, the advanced ones, to go all the way to, like, you can never tell where I'm landing, because of the constant shaking, but I didn't expect high rank quests and, like, advanced quests to go to 4x damage and crazy high HP. Like, I assumed, oh, this quest has... Five monsters. They'll have at least similar HP to lower, well, a little bit lower HP because there's five instead of even two or three. They'll have lower HP than six star village quests or even similar six star hub quests. But no, it just has crazy high HP. And obscenely high damage. That doesn't make any sense. It's casual. It's struggling to walk. It wouldn't destroy a pillar. I've pressed Y again. I'm pretty sure this is where I can monoclomb or whatever. 
it's either Sonic or... It was probably Sonic because of the ears, right? Yeah. Wow. It dies faster than the first monster. Six star quest. It's just funny. Uh, what? I'll go with a Seregios. As an example of a high rank switch axe to look at. So. This is a seditious axe. Wrath Medulla can be gotten in high rank from Dread Queen Rathian. Or normal Rathian. Or from an uh, Invoking Wrath advanced quest. Village 10 star. Yeah, that's a high rank material. Seregius air blades are high rank material. Breacher, high rank technically. Glavinous pyro shell, high rank. Oh, I assume at the point where it changes color is when it's a. G rank weapon? Yeah. So Baron Defiance level 5 has 190, 10% affinity, and white sharpness. Not even that much higher attack, or raw attack. It's only like 50 more. And then from there to G rank, it gains 80 damage, or 80 raw. But I mean, blue to white is, I don't know, t maybe 10%, 20%. I don't actually know what the numbers are. But it could be in the range of 10%, I think. Yeah, that took 12 minutes. Catch a watcha. I got hit a lot. And in theory, it could have been faster if I tried it a five dozen times. The Village 7 star Ketchawacha has 3,686 HP maximum. That took 12 minutes, and it doesn't one-shot me. The Devil Joe has less than double that HP, is part of three monsters, and does two or three times the damage. Easily two or three times the damage. So it's just not worth even bothering. Because it would take at least 24 minutes, maybe 30, and that's not including the fact that I have to actually be able to hit it and not die. And if it took 30 minutes to kill that, that leaves 20 minutes for two more monsters that have about 3,000 HP. I think the math with... My setup and my level of skill doesn't work out at all. I don't think it's possible. Okay, I bet there's potential hyper-optimized builds that could do it with low rank gear. Like if I spent the time to upgrade my armor as much as physically possible I could get eight more per piece maybe 16 20 more per piece which would be another hundred armor maybe maybe that's doable maybe that's helpful might also not be possible I could upgrade my switch axe no I couldn't because I've never seen a Teostra so it's impossible to upgrade my switch axe. I could use a different switch axe, like the Celtic, the, not Celtus. Seregios, I think is probably better as a, a step. Okay. I think Celtus is probably, Celtus, 
the Regios is probably a better raw switch axe than a blast switch axe, which is kind of a meaningless comparison to make. Because, oh, what the heck? Why? Why do this to me? Oh, a free charm. Worth it. Thank you for doing this to me. I know I'm in the top right corner. Because this is that area that I saw in that previous exploration. You know, I'm, I'm lost. Might as well talk to the Veggie Elder. Psycho Serum. I could use the Psycho Serum right away and just go find the monster and start hunting it. And I will. I don't actually know how to get there, though. I can approximate how to get there. But I don't know exactly how. I'm assuming if I go up here, it won't be bad. And as long as I remember to paintball the monster, I should be fine. I know Celtus is important. Just because it's, it's a bug. And bugs are relevant. So I probably should read what the quest is about. Why is it bug appetit encore? Wait, I've cooked him up a Celtus before? When did that happen? Is there a six star Celtus quest that exists that I just haven't done? It's an advanced quest that's not worth doing. I kind of need to look into that now. So far, I hate this monster's fight because it's a lot of charging, seemingly. And it charges past, not stopping, like a Bullfango will. Like a Bullfango will charge a Bull Drum will charge and stop more or less where you are. It won't charge past you. Which is incredibly helpful to make for making the fight not obnoxious. Fake out. That lasted longer than I expected. That was risky. I like the design of the monster. It's kind of a cool bug. I already broke the horn. Um. There was ground there. Yeah, no, I don't think this is a fun monster to hunt. It constantly charges path. And it can fly. Which means I should probably bring... Well, it always flies, it doesn't walk. But, like, I wonder if flash bombs would be helpful. So that was just climbing was an issue. Okay, somehow that... I think the place I'm fighting this guy is also really bad. Like this obnoxious ledge. I 
And I just can't hit him with the jump because he's just floating above me. The irony that the aerial works worse on aerial monsters. It might not be ironic, but the fact, the reality, is very um, obnoxious. I mean, I think Ariel should be better against Ariel monsters. But it really doesn't feel like it's better. Because it's so much easier to just miss. What a weak monster. Drone substance. Six star advanced. Yeah, this is the six star advanced Celtus Queen quest. Which is a spoiler that I don't have it yet. The individual Celtuses in that quest have more HP than this one Celtus. Like. And they expect people, I guess, to have done. I'm just confused by the quest flavor text for this one. If that's the only one that you realistically would expect the players to have done before this, where's the balance? Is it asleep? Can I even hit that? Good. I missed. Um, weird looking attack. It's faking his death because it's not twitching? No, it's not faking his death. It just gave up. Oh yeah, uh, bugs do this, like spiders do this because hydraulics. The, like hydraulic fluid in their body is how they move their legs and stuff. So when they die, it just sort of, I don't know, depressurizes and curls up. I don't know the exact mechanic, but it's something like along those lines. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about the advanced quest set anymore until I'm, like, done with high rank, I guess. Though actually, I mean, like, there's, it's a spoiler that it's looking at this quest on Kiriniko spoils how many Celtus there are for the Celtus Queen quest. But this one actually seems much more reasonable. Celtus Queen? Five Celtuses. Still less total HP than the other advanced quest with five monsters. This has six monsters and it has less total HP. I don't know how to unlock it. I'll unlock it eventually. Probably through the hub. Is my guess for how it's unlocked. Oh yeah, I got a shining charm. Do Celtuses just give you... Okay, now I have to... Kind of terrible. Do Celtuses just give you armor, or did I mine that out of... Or collect that from a collection point? But Celtus... Bug Appetite. Okay, Bug Appetite is a four star? That doesn't make any sense. Why would the... Village 7 star quest be a sequel to a hub 4 star. The hub 4 star is going to be harder. Isn't it? Yeah, the hub 4 star has more HP. 
it does more damage. Why is the Village 7 star a sequel to a Hub 4 star? That doesn't make any sense. Like, the harder quest should not be first in the story. It's not really much of a story. Like, there's no real story to it, but... Oh, wrong person. It's a barrel. Oh. But when they jump like that, it's special permits. Okay. I don't really care. Do I have to... Who talks to me? Where's the exclamation mark? I'll leave and come back. See if that fixes it. Because I can't find it. Maybe I have access to the pub on the right. I think this game's kind of... janky. There's a lot of very specific jankiness. In Oh, these two. Wait, are Red Spear and Black Spear just the equivalent of, like, the hunters from Kokoto? Red and black, but different context. Well. Back to the hub. I, and by hub, I mean Burna. I think I give up on, like, I, I can do the hub quests on the weekend. But I think, I kind of want to temporarily focus, if I unlock an urgent quest, I will do it and come back for the low rank, the low high rank quests a little bit later. Like, I want to get, I don't know, high rank Rathian? Rathalos? High rank Rathalos armor, maybe? Just as, like, a... Get that. Get a decent high rank weapon. And then I can go back to... Six Star Village. Like, I think that seems like a solid plan. Now, if I clear every single quest... Well, I should check right after. It's probably a cold area, actually. But if I do every quest before I get an urgent quest, then that's fine. And I won't avoid the boring side quests. What an obnoxious... I don't... It's not that bad. It's just annoying. Like, oh, you don't get a map because you start in a random location. Just give the player the map. Like, acting like they would couldn't just bring a map with them from the beginning is silly. Which is also why later games don't do that map system. Well, no, the reason they don't do the map system is because of... It's just inconvenient, not because of different logical choices. But I need to set a target for what I want before I go back for the advanced quests. Like, my current feeling is maybe the equivalent of what I have now, but high rank. I'm doing this because I'm lazy. Like, not necessarily the exact weapon, but like, similar tier, but high rank. So, Seregios Switch Axe is, I think, a similar tier. 
And upgrading that to the high rank level might be an idea. I don't know if there's a Celtus Queen switch axe. Maybe that's an option. I assume it isn't. Or I'm assuming it's not a good option, at least compared to the Seregios one. Because this Seregios one has the advantage of... Why do I still have Demon Riot 1? Why have I not unlocked Demon Riot 2? Is that a hub quest to unlock it, I've realized? Or does it just take that long? But this Regius one has the advantage of rolling sharpens it. So I assume with Ariel I will never have to sharpen ever again if I just use that switch axe. And it has good raw, it's not blast. Blast is not ideal deal, I think. And, like, it has better affinity, better raw. I could just pull my, or switch my axe pretty easily. I had no reason to not switch the axe. Yeah, like, this is exactly why I'm not doing the advanced quests. Because they're just out of order. Yeah, I'm very ha comfortable to view the advanced quest as, be quest as being out of order because they are like they're not even low high rank which is what I kind of hoped they would be they're like definitely medium to high high rank maybe even like peak high rank despite being a six star quest It's just, it's weird. I guess it's not that different. Like, World has, I've not done these hunts ever, but like, World has like Extremis and the Witcher collab boss, who both have crazy high HP values. I think, or they're both very hard. And people will do them, ice people will solo them with like iceborne gear. Yeah, three minutes. Like people will go back, solo them with iceborne gear, I think. And even then it's not trivial. Though it might be that it's not trivial because they have a lot of HP. But yeah, also I was doing new monsters, so it is possible that I've already gotten the urgent quest. given the red, but it also might not be an urgent quest. But look, 40 minutes? If I had been doing any of the advanced quests, I wouldn't even be done with the hunt net yet. They're off. I hope that... I hate this. I hate that I have to do this if I want to collect special permits. It's so slow. Oh, what a video game. Wait, no, no. That's not a bunch of quests. That's just talking to whichever gal is around. Please be an urgent for the next level, huh? I just want to push to Rathalos. It's what I... Oh no, it's not an urgent. It is not, but it's... 
important, I guess. Like, the best thing about this, most of these quests are actually pretty fun. They're normal quests. I could probably clear this, 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 that, and that. I could, and plus this probably. I could clear all of those in, I don't know, an hour, an hour and a half. I could clear them fast and I could clear the advanced quests, that's for sure. Oops, wrong interaction point. Carpaccio. I'm bringing the Baroth because I want to... I want Rathlos. High rank Rathlos plus... I should do my items. Uh, where am I going? Desert. Oh yeah, different location. It's just a desert. High rank Rathlos for high rank Rathlos armor. Oh, I should actually check if I just have to upgrade. Ooh. If I just need to upgrade my armor repeatedly. It's an odd system. Because Rathalos, yeah, Rathalos Helm S, and then there's EX. EX Rathalos should be Dread King, right? No, EX Rathalos is not Dread King? You, oh, is it EX requires advanced invoking? Oh, but advanced invoking the Wrath actually seems approachable not easy but it, it's only a total of 6000 hp between arathlos and arathian and they only do 2.65 times the damage that legitimately seems approachable and not completely awful i love it actually a playable quest but what is different about the ex stuff tenderizer attack oh, this one's potential Negative protection and hot-blooded, so it's not even worth using, I think. Up oh, then there's R? What's R versus F? Tenderizer, attack, 10, 17. I should be doing the quest, I might. 10, 17, 10, 15. There's two more attack on Helm R. I'm going to look at this. I need to figure this out as a goal. Because my goal is Rathlos armor just as a baseline. It might be better to go for affinity. It might be better to go for something else. But I feel that as a starting point, it is reasonable to start with Oh, cool, that's a different, very different visual design compared to Rise and World. Unless this is like a special Baroth. That's good. But yeah, Rathlos just seems like a good, simple target armor. It's just attack and tenderizer. It fulfills a purpose. It gives affinity. It gives attack. It's everything you need. What in scenarios where the better choice isn't critical eye. I hate that I don't know where I'm going to land. Like, that doesn't make any sense because I wouldn't fit under the head. It doesn't move that much. Worth it if I get the reload? I did. Oh, uh, I love Bephalos. Kind of 
This visual on Baroth is very weird compared to what I'm used to. I kind of prefer it. It's not just brown, but... This is a little bit more visual. There's more variety on this, but it could be a special version. I doubt it's a special version. I assume it is just the, what Baroth looks like in this game. I'm playing too aggressively. Oh, hello, Cephalos. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. They floop up and then they push forward from a position where they were, like, struggling, seemingly, to land after they burst out of the sand. can by exploding it. You suffalos. I'm here to kill the cephalos. I'm not here to kill the Baroth anymore. No. Got cephalos on the ground at least. It is dead. Got what it deserves. I think I really want to see if I can craft Mega Potions, or Max Potions, or ma Max Potions, not Mega. Because Mega Potions are kind of annoying to heal with. So I need to figure out what the ingredients are, and then see if I can get the trader to collect them for me. Or I guess it's technically trade for them, but... Because I don't have access to Mandragora. Which is what I think I need in Rise and maybe World. Um, that's kind of impressive to maintain the sudden acceleration and turning sharply is kind of impressive. Yeah, it's kind of impressive how well it can... It's not turning crazily there, but... The speed of acceleration is impressive. I wonder why it's blue. Is it in a cave? Okay, EX Rathalos Helm S. Tenderizer 10, Attack 11, Hot Blood 10. Kind of not that good. But then Rathalos Helm X is Dread King. No. I guess it's probably Dread King Rathalos Helm is, I guess, what it is. Not Rathalos. got mud off of one of its sides? Does this version not recode itself in mud? Because of the fact that the only reason I'm thinking that might be possible is because clearing the mud in this is a sided affair. I cleared one side, whereas I don't think in Rise I ever cleared like part of one side of a Okay, that was a very unexpected swing. I don't think I ever cleared like half of the mud or caked on mud off of a Baroth in Rise. Rathlos X. Oh, yeah, that's just 20 attack and 10 tenderizer, but it is a rarity 9. That uses Cortexes, Cortexes, co Shards. I don't trust the Kiranikos. Yeah, these are G-Rank, so like G-Rank gear is not a viable 
option, in my opinion. That was silly, because I thought I was looking to the left. I'm just dead. Now here's a weird... Village Tensar advanced ranging Rathalos. The quest is Hunter Rathalos, there's three intruders. The Rathalos here only has... Still has less than 7,000 HP. Like, they don't even have a high HP compared to the... I mean, they do do times 5.7 attack at least. But the HP on the Rathalos on a 10-star advanced quest... It's not that much higher than the HP of the Devil Joe in a three monster quest. That's such a weird. It's just so weird. The six star advance quest. Like, it's just weird balance, I think. Incredibly unfun. I should probably start bringing nutrients or uh, ancient potions or whatever. So that if I die, I don't have reduced HP. I really want stun resistance. It feels maybe less necessary in this game. But it also feels like I really should try to get it. The reason it feels less necessary... I hate that. I hate trying to jump off a tail. It feels less necessary, I think, entirely because it feels like it clears a lot quicker in this game. Like, spinning the control stick actually does something. Whereas in Rise, it really doesn't feel like it did. Same with World. It doesn't feel impactful. What, what is it doing? I don't think it even knows what it's doing. I really hate that tail sweep. Like, as an attack, it makes sense for... That was a bad hitbox. And I'm going to die again. As an attack, the tail sweep makes sense. It's just... It just happens. There's no... Prep. It just is... Immediate. And I don't think it really has much of a tell, if any. No, I could have just missed it. Very likely, I would even say. But yeah, okay. So obviously, Rathlos Helm X is G rank. So Rathlos Helm S is what I should aim for. It was either S or R? Because R gives more attack. Oh, that's hyper. I don't think that's a good choice. Not because... I don't know what S is. S might also be a hyper. But if that is a hyper required... Like, hyper Rathalos quest required... I would prob... Unless hyper Rathalos is actually easy. I doubt it. Hyper Rathalos is presumably more of an issue than the... Oh, but it's only a 7-star hub quest. But no, it's definitely a... Th that should be harder than the... Not harder. It might be harder, but it's not like... 
in terms of HP total, it is not harder than the six star advanced quest. It might be harder because the monster itself is actually harder, which would be good. But that seems like a bad goal to set. Wrathless Helm S. Inferno Sack, Keenbone, Scale Plus, Carapace. Yeah, that's that's a real high rank set. So Helm S, or the, the Rathlos S set, is the goal. Then I'm going to try to do, set as, hopefully, it's a realistic, like, not too high high rank target before going back to the advanced quest and seeing if I can do it with that and a better switch axe. Because, you know, I've also determined that the switch axe will not get to like I won't have a 300 attack switch axe until G rank, so, or raw attack, not attack. Eesh. I think if I'd gone, I don't know, quarter second earlier, I might have actually been able to bounce instead of get hit. And take advantage of the iframes from the aerial jump. I like the very wide uh, toe feet things that are visible on the side there. Like... Clearly the walking on sand sort of adaptation, wide feet. Feels like this is a tar pit without tar. And well, really without the pit art. This should be the end of that quest. And maybe now they'll have just more quests for me to pick up or something silly. I need to look at more switch axes, is kind of a thing. I'm looking at... You know, the filter does not help on Kiraniko. So I look at a rarity six switch axe as like a general area. Seditious axe is a split off from the axe switch. It still gets the. What is the difference between? Oh, Hyper Hunter 2 is an upgrade component. Which I think means it's definitely a Hyper requirement. So Axe of 4 is 180 plus 10 white sharpness. Seditious is 160, 20 white sharpness. Two deco slots. So it's probably a higher cap on that weapon 280 20 310 10 more slots is valuable I, I hate this. Because I need to collect the special permit because I will want to grind some, all of them eventually. 
maybe I just ignore it until I get like Dread King Rathian or some like more valuable target. I'm gonna have Dread Queen Rath Rathian, Dread King Rathalos. Whoops. So now there's gonna be even more quests on the list. Oh, lovely. This is the time they introduce the boring, unimportant quests. What? What? Just put the boring quest here first. Instead of like, oh, you get more new quests, but they're boring and blah. Goofy. I can't even guess the ones that I'm going to need to do. I mean, it might be from the new ones that I just got. So maybe I need to do... I mean, it's not going to be Kongalala again to get the next urgent quest. It could be Tetsukabra. It could be Gypsaros, which might have been there before. But it's not going to be the berry quests. But yeah. I've changed direction. Moving forward, I'm going to be pushing for high rank. And as long as I keep this armor and weapon to clear the hub quests, it should be fine. And like once I finish the low rank hub, I'll then be using the high rank gear I get from the village for the hub anyway. So it's not like, I mean, one, two, and three, the hub is one, two, three stars low rank. So there's a lot of stuff there still to do before I move on to high rank hub. But it will just be a little harder. But that's the future. That's not for now. Cause I, I don't want to do too many repeat quests. Oh, so yeah. Three star hub is where the like Teostra shows up. It's really weird to me that like the three basic. El I'm going to call them basic elder dragons are three star hub, but not six star village. It's interesting. Yeah, the urgent quest for the hub seems like it'll be fun. But I, I do want to focus for now on village because I want those advanced quests done. So yeah, I'll do the This is basically me talking through my plan. I will do this until I can get high rank Rathalos armor and maybe oh, well definitely a better switch axe which could be the Seregio switch axe which would require me to farm low rank to upgrade to the point where it can be a high rank weapon or some other similar tier switch axe but I'm going to do the hub on the weekend, village during the week. So have a nice day. Bye-bye.